Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to Geeky Bat. Today we're gonna do a quick gradient painting. You are going to need something to paint on. This is a piece of recycled cardboard. You can use the canvas or thick paper, several paint brushes in different sizes. I like to use this one for a little bit of mixing and this one for the actual painting because it will give us big, thick strokes. You will also need some paint. I've mixed up a bit of a dark turquoise and you will need white paint as well. For this, we're going to start by dipping our brush into our paint and applying a thick, solid stroke straight down the side. This is a nice turquoise that I mixed up this morning with blue and green. There we go, it looks really pretty. Next, we are going to grab some white paint and add a little bit to our turquoise. We want to make the paint a little bit lighter each time and paint a new streak of our lighter color. Not going too light. Dip our brush in. Still a little too dark. See if I can get some of that lighter on there. A little bit better. There we go. Awesome. Don't worry about being messy. That's why I have this extra paper down below and I'm going to recycle it into a second project at the end. I'm mixing some more white in. Some on my brush. Paint another streak next door. I actually would like that to be a little lighter. And you're going to add white between each layer to keep, there we go. Getting lighter as you go. This is a fun project, but it does generate a lot of paint. So I've come up with a couple of different projects, which I got from Karen Cavett on YouTube, as a way to not waste all of our extra paint. We're gonna add a little bit more white. We're almost there. Mix that in. Oh, there we go, that's so cool. And add our final streak. This is a really fun project. You get to make a mess, you get to have a lot of fun. It's a very simple color block. There we go, nice and light. Awesome, check that out. That is super cool. Now we're gonna set him aside to dry. And we've got all this extra paint hanging out in our paint tray. So we are going to use this extra paper that I've been painting on to reuse it. You can see I have a lot of different colors in my palette. I'm just gonna dip some on my brush and paint random, chunky, fun shapes as I go. Then we'll put this on the drying rack too, let it dry and cut it into pieces to put on a second canvas. Isn't that neat? I'm gonna get some dark colors here to splotch in. Oh, that is so cool. You can be really random and crazy, get your lights and darks in there make a big fun mess. Look at that, that is so cool. You want a lot of texture on these. Check that out, how neat is that? All right, let's do another one real quick. I'm gonna grab this one from the bottom, which has a lot of dark color on it. Then I'm gonna come back in with some light color and just make lots of cool shapes. Oh, that looks so neat. I like this color that I mixed this morning. I just took blue and green and mixed it until it gave me a nice dark turquoise. Awesome, these are so cool. All right, I'm gonna go let these dry and I will see you guys in the next video.